are grateful to our sponsors, Kelly Stafford with Stafford Tree Service and also Black Cow Cow Manure. If you need your trees trimmed locally, remember Stafford Tree Service at StaffordTreeSVC.com and please visit Black Cow Cow Manure, that's K-O-W. Remember, both of the contact details are in the description below. Desert Rose. I love the artist Sting. He did a great song about the Desert Rose. Maybe you like that song. Maybe you like the idea of having a beautiful plant that's kind of a toughie. And the Desert Rose is one of those plants. It's got a beautiful flower. And some people will say, well, it's a second cousin of the Plumeria. And they are in the both in the Apostanaceae family. But that's kind of where the similarities end. Yes, they both have a fragrant flower. These hold their foliages. Frangipanis typically don't. The plumeria, or frangipani, typically grows in a much moister area originally. The desert rose, as the name would imply, tends to grow in the desert. So it is one that can do probably better without that much moisture. You'll see even in this soil that's growing, it's got some little specks of perlite. And the perlite are in there so that it can help hold, well, it can hold moisture around it, but it also allows good airflow. And that can be important for this. With the Desert Rose, you'll see that it forms a kind of a bulb at the base, kind of enlarged. It's not really a bulb, but it's a thickening of the stem. And because of that, it can hold some moisture during times when it might be dry. Kind of reminds me of a camel. You know, it's got the hump so it can hold that extra water when it needs it. The Desert Rose is one that doesn't have many problems. Occasionally I've seen spider mites. Occasionally I've seen a scale, but that's a rarity. If you keep these healthy, they normally don't have many problems. If you did, you could easily pick up some type of a you know, soap type product or a neem type product, and it should take care of it for you. Planting at the same depth that it's in this container, sometimes as it gets a few years on its, uh, you know, growth period, you may want to step it up. You'll see that term used occasionally in Hort books, and it calls about stepping up. What's stepping up? It just means moving it to one size larger container. When we say one size larger, you'd go a little bit larger, but you wouldn't normally step it up into a huge container because you may have more chances of problems. As far as fertilizer goes, I'd use either a kind of a cacti succulent fertilizer, even though it's not a cacti, it's not a succulent, it kind of fits into that category. But any good general fertilizer, you could use any water soluble on a pretty regular basis. Do you need to mulch? Probably not, because there again, it's a desert rose. It doesn't need to hold as much moisture as typically some other plants might. As far as support, you don't really need to support it or stake it. It'll grow well on its own. You shouldn't have to prune it much, except maybe occasionally to keep it in bounds. And as we mentioned earlier, the pests normally aren't much of a problem. And uh, other than maybe harvesting some of the blooms, which you may wish to bring inside to make a little arrangement, Often if you do bring flower blooms in, you get to appreciate them not only outside, but inside as well. This plant is also renowned for its beautiful dark green glossy foliage when it first comes out. And uh, I think it has a nice effect and I think the trunk is interesting. So if you're looking something for a plant that is, well, I think unusual and yet will give you very beautiful blooms, Consider growing this one, and it's not one that's going to get too out of bounds. I like fringy panties, that uh, third cousin twice removed, but that wants to get to be 8, 10 feet sometimes, 12 feet tall, almost a tree. These will stay more as a dwarf plant, more as a shrub. Oh, they might, I have seen them up 3 or 4 feet, but that's unusual. That's someone who's had one forever. If you've got one that's really unusual or really attractive, I'd like to see it which means send me a photo. I'm always amazed with our cameras today, even on our phones, how good a picture can be. If you've got a question, well, I take those as well. And often if you let me know where you're from, I may mention you in future segments. 
Of course, every Saturday, you'll be uh, dropping a new segment on your favorite platform. And as always, we like if you hit the subscribe button, see if you can get a couple more subscribers in your gardening group to subscribe with you. Once again, thanks for watching.